Shalom Israel, this is the brother Kadar Bar here again, and I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in Heaven, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son name, Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, Shalom. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is the ungodly. The Edomites, the so-called white race, are the ungodly nation. They are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. So I'm going to start off right here with Malachi chapter 1, verse 1, and it reads, The burden of the word. Of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. Verse 2 I had loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. So, right here, it's established that. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashiach Shah, love Jacob, who is the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. And the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the descendants of those twelve tribes. And we believe that according to faith, according to the scriptures, right? So Yahweh Bashiach Shah love the Israelites. You know, Jacob's name was later on changed to Israel. Verse 3. And I hated Esau. And I hated Esau. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4. For whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So they great they this this so called great kingdom that Esau, Edom, the so called white man have built up, Yahweh is gonna throw it down. He's gonna throw down Esau, Edom the so-called white man's kingdom to the ground. He's going to throw it down. He's going to, it's going to be destroyed. You know, um, this, this wicked, this wicked system is going to be destroyed, man. And they should call them the border of wickedness. So that right there, let you know that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the Edomites are the wicked now you got people even our people of the israelites that's that's wicked you know at the learning and taking on the ways of this devil you know and people from these other nations they are wicked at the taking on the ways of this devil man you know but esau edom the so-called white race they are the wicked they are the border of wickedness you know, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua have in the nation forever. Now let's go over here. Job Job chapter 9 verse 24 and it reads the earth is given into the hand of the wicked now who run the earth the so called white race right they on top right they sit in that power seat right so Esau Edom the so called white man the so called white race the Edomites they are the wicked The earth is given into their hands. They 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 running the show right now. You know. Well, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah's running the show because he controlled them. 
but they have the power here upon this earth. The power is given to them. You know, they in they in their rulership. They sit in that power seat right now. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who's the wicked? He saw Edom. The so-called white man, right? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, who paint uh who painted uh the uh, son of man? Yahweh Shah, who these people ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Who painted Yahweh Shah to be a, 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 a white boy, a white man? Even the Most High, they paint the Most High to be a white man. Who paint the, the judges of the uh, Holy Bible as white people? <laughs> you know, Esau eat them. You know, you look at the, the, the men of the holy book, John, Mark, Matthew, Luke, Jeremiah, all of them. This devil, Esau, Edom, paint them to be, to, to look like them. Even in their movies. When you look up these movies about the Bible, all the all the characters that, that's uh, portraying to uh, be Israelites are so-called white people. You know, so they covering the faces of the judges, man. So Esau Edom is the wicked. He's going to get dealt with by the heavenly father. So we that are Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not to walk in the ways of this devil, man. We not ought to walk in the ways of the wicked. We ought to walk in the ways of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashmi Shah, to the best of our ability while we in the land of our captivity, while we in this sinful flesh. We can't be perfect, but we striving to be perfect. Our spirit want to be perfect. But we in this sinful flesh, so we, we do our best, you know. You can't keep all the commandments in, in this in this wicked kingdom, man. In the land of our captivity, while you in this sinful flesh, but we walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah to the best of our ability. This is a uh, Psalms chapter one verse one, and it reads: "Blessed is the man that walketh not." In the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So, who is the ungodly? Esau. Don't walk in his devil ways, man. The earth is given into his hands. This is why all this folly and all this wickedness, all this bullshit that's going on in this world is, is happening because he's in rulership he's he's ruling he's in that power seat the earth is giving it to his hands so he's 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 spreading himself as a as a green bay tree as the scriptures say he he's spreading wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth man the people of this earth are in darkness because of this devil Jump it down to verse four. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. You know, so the most high, you know, will destroy this uh this damn devil, man. The the the, the wicked man, the ungodly. You know. He will destroy these 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 uh <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm going to keep it clean. He's going to destroy the wicked, man. He's going to bring them down. You know, we just have to be patient. You know, so walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, Israel. Verse 5. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the con congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly should perish. Right. So when the judgment come, you will be destroyed. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you will be brought down 
as well as you uh, wicked Israelites that's in the world, man. You Israelites that's being wicked, you're going to be destroyed when judgment come. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to deal with you too. You two-thirds. You two-third Israelites will get dealt with. You're going to be destroyed in the time of judgment. You know? Esau, the Edomites, and, and, and Jake's, man. You Israelites as well, y'all. Hey, the Lord is going is to make you ungodly people perish, man. That's why the scriptures say, walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 3. Jump down here to... Verse 7, and it reads, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. And this will happen soon. You know, that, that teeth is that sword of this devil, man. This, that, that devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, was blessed with that sword. You know, he was he was he received that blessing from Isaac. You know. So that's gonna be that's gonna be broken broken from him, man. It's gonna be taken from him, man. That power. You know. That power that he have now to take peace from the earth. This is Psalms 43. Verse 1, and it reads, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man who is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. The Edomites are an ungodly nation, a deceitful nation, an unjust nation. You know, Esau is, is, is ungodly, he's deceitful, and he's unjust. He's not just, he's not righteous, nor can he be righteous. He was created to be the wicked. To the things that he do, we're not so surprised because that's what he was created to do. He was created to be the wicked. He was created to be that whipping stick for Israel. He's the ride of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah used Esau Edom, the so called white man, to punish his people who are the Israelites. Esau is the whipping stick. You know? So come, come from under the ways of this devil, man. Return back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Repent. You know, because the ways of this devil is, is is causing you to go against the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The devil is not for you; he's against you. He understands that if he make ways for you to go against the heavenly Father. Then he know the heavenly fire is going to end up destroying you. Uh, Psalm 73 verse 12 and it reads, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And who is that? The super rich elite Edomites. <laughs> you know? And our, you know, you got some of our people that, you know, that, that, that trust in the devil, man, who was the, who was Esau and the word devil means deceiver. So when people hear devil, they think they thinking about a, a, a big red muscular, whatever with, with horns, with a pitchfork. 
a big red creature with horns and, and a pitchfork, man. With the legs of a uh, goat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the devil means deceiver, man. Who's the deceiver of the whole earth, man? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Let's see, let's get a... Uh, bear with me. This is uh first Peter chapter four. Verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So if the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 government body, which are the men and a uh, and a uh, one third that's here in uh America and a multitude of the elect that's scattered, the hundred and forty four thousand elect men, the one third elect here in America and a multitude of the Israelites of the elect that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. If they scarcely going to be saved, then what's gonna happen to the ungodly who are the Edomites? And the sinners of Israel, the the, the uh, two thirds, you know, they're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, the great deliverance is gonna happen throughout the four corners. I mean, the deliverance of of the elect is gonna happen throughout the four corners of the earth, but the great deliverance is gonna happen. Is gonna take place here in America. You know, where the one third of the elect will be delivered when Yahweh shall return, and the two thirds of Israel, the Israelites, will be destroyed, you know, here in America with the ungodly and, you know, these other heathen, uh, these other heathens from these other nations that's here as well. And in, in America, the whole land of America is going to be destroyed. But how? By the thermonuclear missiles. You know, let's go to Second uh, Peter. Because right before you know those nuclear missiles, you know, hit this place, the elect is gonna get beamed up into the chariots when you have a shot return. You know. Let's start uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, and it reads, well, let's start at verse 5. Yeah, we can start at verse 5. And spare not the old world, but save Noah and the eight person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly see and and uh noah was a preacher man he was he was he was telling them the things that the heavenly father commanded him to say you know he was telling them about uh the prophecies man tell them that his, a flood was gonna come and destroy everything but those people didn't take him serious you know noah was a preacher and he prophesied to all of the people. And what happened? The flood came, man. They didn't hearken. 
So they was destroyed. And it's the same for you, you two third Israelites, you wicked Israelites that don't want to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that don't want to believe on this gospel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to be destroyed as well, man, because you refuse to hearken unto the prophets that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sent before you to tell you to, 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 that the, the prophets that prophesy, you know, these words to tell you the things that's coming. You refuse to hearken. So you're going to be destroyed, man. And uh, let's get a uh, verse six and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example, making them an, an example of, Unto those that after should live ungodly. So this the, the the story about what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah and how that place was destroyed should be an example unto you uh, ungodly Israelites. You know, you wicked Israelites, man. That that live ungodly, you know. That should let you know, hey, what happened to those that live ungodly in Sodom and Gomorrah? They was, they was burnt up, man, with the fire and brimstone, man. The whole place was burnt down. It was turned, like the scripture said, S Sodom and Gomorrah uh, turning the city, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, and those that was in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah you know, them Hamites, you know. That's why Jake was always, you know, able to blend in with those Hamites, man. Because, you know, people think we Africans, which we not. You know, even though the, the, our skin tone, you know, is, is you know, look like theirs. And, you know, our our, stint, our skin tone look, look alike. You know, we dark, they dark. You know, so we was always, even when Moses uh, was in Egypt, man, you know. Even when Yahweh Shai and his mother fled to uh to uh over there in Egypt, man. Yahweh Shai's mother and Joseph, they fled to Egypt, you know. So Lot was, you know, you know, was able to blend in with those people over there. But they he know they was he he knew that they was ungodly, man. <laughs> like how they was living, man. All that homo shit going on in, in there and stuff, man. Like this shit was crazy. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah destroyed that place and the people that was in it. And now in this time, you know, America is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. Look what's going on with the trans stuff and a and a and a all this alphabet stuff, you know. All the the homo shit, man. You know, the same sex shit. That's going on here. You know. Uh, let's see. So America is going to be, you know, destroyed, man. Because of the ungodly ways to the, uh, of this place, man. And Esau Edom pushed that ungodly ways to these other nations as well, man. Pushing all that homophobic, I mean, not homophobic, that homo, you know, homo stuff to those other nations, man. You know, pushing their ways unto those other nations. And America's going to be destroyed by fire, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, by the way, those thermonuclear missiles. This is Second Peter chapter three, verse seven, and it reads, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, 
reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction, perdition of ungodly men. Yeah, that, that, that fire is going to come from the nuclear missiles, man. That nuclear fire, <laughs> you know, and and the people that that is here, that's it. The people that's here in America that don't get beamed up. And the only ones that can get beamed up are the elect of the nation of Israel. So Esau, these people from these other nations, and Jake, the two thirds that don't get taken up, hey, they're gonna, you know, be destroyed by that fire, man, from the nuclear missiles. You know. Let's go to Jude chapter 1. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 4. And it reads, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this uh, condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into that. Hold on. Let me start over. Uh, uh, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. Yeah, so, you know, Israelites that, you know, that that woke up and, and you know, that fell off, you know, that uh, men that know, men that know about, you know, this word, but don't do, you know, that don't do no work. You know, you got men that, that that creep in the, in this ministry, man, and and you know they be spies. They 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 be wicked, man. You know. Let's see. Uh, you know, you wicked, Jake's man. You're gonna get dealt with, man. Being ungodly, man, you're gonna be dealt with. You're gonna receive that terrible judgment. Um, trying to see. Bear with me. All right, I'm good. First three things. You know, so you, you know, you 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 Israelites that know about this word, man. You Israelite men that know about this word, you know, and uh, you know, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't want to go out and do the works. You know, you all about me. I was going to deal with you, man. Let's get a. Uh, Job chapter 1 verse 15 and it reads to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them and all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them yeah so you know it's talking about you you wicked jakes that came in his truth and you turned your black turned your back on the plow. You know. You came in his truth, you know, and, and, and you, you you was doing the works for a little bit, then you just stopped. You turned your back on the plow, man. You you basically turned your back on your how about some shot. 
and you went back into the world, man. You know, you're going to be dealt with, man. Jumping down right here to verse 18. How they, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who shall walk after their own ungodly lust. You know. And that's what a lot of our people do, man. You know, a lot of people are, are they mock the word, you know, they mock the prophets. And when you mock the prophets, man, you you really mocking your how about some y'all shot, man. <laughs> you know. You mock this word, you mocking your how about some y'all shot. You think he ain't gonna deal with you? You think he ain't gonna bring judgment upon you and destroy you? Let me get one more scripture. This is a uh, second Peter chapter three, verse three, knowing this first that there should come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? And that's where our people say, man. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. You know, so that's how our people feel, man. We out here prophesying, preaching his word day in and day out, you know, doing videos day in and day out, going out there on the highways and byways every week, preaching his word. And, you know, and, you know, you got these mockers. Where, where, where is this coming? When he coming? Why he can't come now? What's taking them so long? You know, talking shit, man. He's going to be dealt with, man. You know. Yahweh Shai is coming, man. Prophecies have to be f fulfilled. Everything is done in order. You know. Everything is done in order. I'm gonna, this is going to be the last scripture. Uh, This is Psalms 37 verse. Start at 34 and it reads. Wait on the Lord. That's right. You Israelites, wait on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And keep his way. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. You know. And we're going to see when the wicked cut off, man. You know, we're going to see when Esau, Edom, is uh, the so-called white race. The Edomites are brought down. You know, we're going to see when they put into captivity under us uh, as uh, as well as these other nations. You know, and we're going to see when they uh, completely, you know, chased out of this world, man. Where it's going to come a time where you're not going to see no more so-called white people, man. Because we're going to round their ass up and we're going to burn them all up. You know, the scripture talks about uh, the Lord is going to cut off the uh, the son and the nephew, you know. So if the, if the men are cut off from the Edomites, then how any more Edomite babies going to be born if all the men is cut off? <laughs> you know, so they're going to be done away with, man, after they served a thousand years of captivity. Verse 35, I have seen the wicked, and we know who the wicked is, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. In great power, spreading himself like a green bay tree. You know, look up a green bay tree, man. It's a big old tree that that is big as hell, man. And what it, what does a tree, what do a tree do, man? It, it shades you from the light, man. You know, it shades you from from the, from the the light of the sun. You know, and that's what this devil is is, is looked at is. That's what this devil is uh is represented as, man. That green bay tree, you know, because he covered the, the the earth in darkness to keep you from getting this light, from getting this this uh this truth, you know. Let me jump down here. Verse thirty eight, and it reads, "But the transgressors shall be destroyed together." The end of the wicked shall be cut off. 
You know, so you 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 wicked as Israelites, man, you're gonna be destroyed. <laughs> you know, you're gonna be destroyed. Verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. He is their strength in the time of trouble. So you Israelites that's in this truth, man, you know. Just just know Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is with you. Don't be like the people, man, that come in this truth and then go back into the world, man. Because they lose their patience and lose their faith. They lose trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Wait on them. Keep believing. Keep the faith. The scripture tell you he that endure to the end, the same should be saved. So if you're not enduring in this thing, man, you're not going to be saved. You have to endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. From the from the from the, the little things to the to the big things. No matter what comes your way, you have to endure it. Because in the time of trouble, which is Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, you know, all hell's gonna be uh, all hell's gonna break loose. It's gonna be a time like never before. But if you remain in this truth, man, you're gonna be all right. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man, is gonna keep you stable in those times. Was Isaiah 33, verse 6. Wisdom and uh wisdom and knowledge should be thy stability at that time. What time? Jacob's trouble. So if you got this truth, man, you got the proper wisdom and knowledge, understanding of the uh, scriptures, you're going to be stable in that time. The people, the other people ain't going to be stable, man. Two thirds of Israel ain't going to be stable. They're going to be bugging out because they choose not to fear you. How about some your shot? They choose not to hearken unto his words and take heed to the warning that the prophets that you about some your shot sent before them to give them. They didn't take heed to the warning. You know, they rather mock and talk shit and, and walk after their own lust, and, and, and walk in 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 the, in the counsel of the ungodly. They they rather walk in the ways of of the wicked. Esau, Edom, the so called white man. You know, verse forty, and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha shall help them, and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. And save them because they trust in him. Who is them? The elect of the nation of Israel. You know? So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to help them in a time of trouble. He's going to save them. He's going to deliver them. Out of that trouble. So I tell you in Jeremiah uh, chapter 30 verse 7. Uh, let me just go to it. Now, I know I said that was the last scripture. But you know. The spirit take you where it want to take you. Jeremiah chapter 30. So we should all, we should all know this. Stand phone. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Do the he mean he gonna be saved out? Do that mean all Israel? No, it doesn't. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is gonna be saved out of it. Two thirds ain't gonna be saved out of this trouble. The evil's gonna come up on them that they not gonna be able to escape. And though they cry unto Yahweh about Shem Yahusha, he not gonna hearken unto you. I'll tell you that in Jeremiah eleven verse eleven. You know. For that day is great so that none is like it. You're not going to be able to compare no terrible event in history since the beginning of the world to now. You're not going to be able to compare no terrible event that ever happened to the time that's coming, which is Jacob's trouble. And the elect is going to be saved out of that trouble, man. So, you know, I'm in it off with that. Walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. You know. Repent, turn back to your hollow box from your other shot before it's too late. You know, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Don't take your time. Repent. You know, the doors of mercy are closing. You know, this thing could pop off at any given time. So repent, turn back to your hollow box from your other shot.
All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakadash. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.